Hello guys and welcome back to Engineering Hack, where we try to solve engineering problems in a way that's hopefully easy to understand. Today we're still in the realm of thermodynamics and we're still on the very basic principles around pure substance analysis. If you haven't seen the previous video or you're not comfortable with finding properties just yet, I recommend you looking at that one first. It teaches, you know, step by step on how to find properties. This is the next level up. So again, it's still basic. It's still, you know, for you to practice, to train pure substance property uh, analysis, how to find it on property tables. And here's just, you know, one level up. We're going to have different substances. It's not going to just be water. Um, and you need to be very comfortable with how to find the state the substance is in and how to find these properties. So let's read the problem statement. This is a question from UNSW. Find values of the following properties from the tables. A. Total enthalpy of 5 kilograms of steam at 278 Kelvin. 70% quality. So, <clears throat> B. Specific volume of ammonia at 8 degrees Celsius, quality of 0.92. C. Specific enthalpy of Freon-12 at 491.4 kilopascals and 30 degrees Celsius. D. Temperature of ammonia at 857 kilopascals with an enthalpy of 1650 kilojoules per second, or sorry, per kilogram. And then E. Enthalpy and specific volume of steam at 200 degrees Celsius in quality of 90%. All right, so... To start this problem, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to look at the information I have and already see if I can deduce the um, state I'm in. So this one has 70% quality. So I know from the get-go this is a mix, right, a mixture. Second one is also quality, also a mixture. So liquid and vapor, liquid and vapor. Uh, Freon, we're only given the pressure and the temperature, so I'm not sure. We need to find out. Uh, temperature of ammonia and enthalpy is still also not sure. I can't be sure about this yet. And then finally, quality of 90%, so this is also a mixture. Okay, so right off the bat, I know that these these three guys here are a mixture. These guys could be a mixture, could be superheated, could be um, compressed. I don't know. We need to check. All right, so let's start with A. Total enthalpy of 5 kilograms of steam at 278 Kelvin and 70% quality. So... What we're going to do is we're going to take we're going to take that 278 Kelvin. We're going to convert that into um, Celsius. It's going to be five Celsius, right? It's five degrees Celsius. And I'm going to go into my steam tables and look for the five degrees Celsius. So saturated water. This is what I'm looking for because we know it's it has a quality, so therefore it's a mixture. I am looking for five degrees Celsius. So this is what I'm looking for. And here, I'm interested in finding um, the total enthalpy for 5 kilograms of, of water. All right, so if it's a mixture and the enthalpy of the liquid is 21 and the enthalpy of the gas is 2509, it means that 70% of the energy is going to be related to this and the rest, the 30% re remaining, is going to be related to this. As easy as that. So what I'm going to do here is to find the enthalpy on A, as I'll just do 70% or 0.7, whatever rocks your boat, 0.7 of 2488, 0.9 plus 0.3 of 21. Okay, and that's going to give me that the enthalpy is 16. 30, 63.23. All right, now, quick trick for you. Note that they often give you also the difference between the two. So if you prefer, what you can do is use this, this value here instead of using this value here. That can save you some time and a bit of math. So what you do is, and you can prove this mathematically to be the same thing, is you just do... Okay, the enthalpy, and again, this is exactly the same thing as this, okay? It's exactly the same idea. I'm just using the difference between the two. What I can do is, I do 21. 
Oh, I just I just made a mistake. Uh, twenty five oh nine. You just flip. So what you do is 21 plus and the 0.7 and the difference. So here's where the 20, 2488 come, come in. Okay, and the result is going to be exactly the same one. 1763.23 kilojoules per kilogram. All right, so this is what you would do. You can choose either one, they're going to be the same thing. And it's easy to prove if you just take and subtract. Um, subtract and consider that the, the quality of something is just the thing you have minus the one for the liquid divided by the vapor one divided by the one for the liquid. You can use this to prove that these are the same thing if you want to do something afterwards. Okay, and we have it for five kilograms, so that's, you know, per kilogram, and they're asking us what is in the case we have five kilograms. So I'm just gonna multiply five kilograms by the 1763.23, and that's kilojoules per kilograms. So therefore I get out of this kilojoules and I get 88, 16.23. All right, that's our answer for part A. Cool, part B. Specific volume of ammonia at eight degrees Celsius and quality of 0.92. So once again, we have a quality, therefore it's a mixture. I'm gonna go find ammonia at eight degrees Celsius. The first ones are all for water, superheated, Water, compressed water, mercury, ammonia. There you go. That's what we're looking for. And I'm interested in ammonia at 8 degrees Celsius. So this is it right here, ammonia at 8 degrees Celsius. Okay, and the idea is going to be exactly the same. I have enthalpy for gas, enthalpy for the liquid. In this case, I don't have the difference, so I can't do that second method. I'm going to have to do the first. Okay. My quality is 92%, so therefore 92% is this guy, 8% is this guy. As easy as that. All right, so what we do is, if I'm looking for the specific, oh, specific volume, not enthalpy, sorry. So, you know, rinse and repeat. I'm actually going to have to do this. So I have... this which is the one for the um gas so here's the here's the thing here's the thing here's the trick here um the specific volume of my mixture of my mixture of 92 percent quality is going to be point point 0.92 times point two one nine eight okay and that's meters cubed per kilogram and then plus right plus my 0 0.08 times the specific volume for the fluid, for the liquid, I should say. So we don't have that on that table. So we need to find out another table. Okay, so that's why it's a bit different. Metrif, let's see for where we have further properties, further properties. Carbon dioxide, water vapor, hydrogen. Nitrogen, nitric acid, methane. Ammonia. Ammonia. Uh -huh. All right, so we have ammonia here. And we don't have the specific volume, but we have the density. Okay, so that's the trick here. They're going to ask us to do a bit more math around this. So we do have the density just here. And what I can do is I can use a density to calculate specific volume because they're related properties, right? Um, however, we are at 8, and 8 will give me 281 Kelvin. So it's going to be between these two values here. So my density is going to be between these two values here. So what I need to do is, step by step, okay? Um, 8 
8 degrees Celsius is the same thing as 281, right? Come on. 7273. And then I have, I'll need to do an interpolation. This is my temperature. This is my density. And at 250, I'm going to have a value. At 300, I'm going to have a different value, which are 669 and 600. And I know that if I interpolate for my 281, which is what I'm looking for, I'll be able to get the density. Let's type this into the calculator. This bits out 626. And that is kilogram. I'm going to check the units, but I think it's kilograms per. They don't say it here, but it should be kilograms per. Just cubed. Okay, and if that's the case, then because I know that the specific volume is the volume divided by the mass, I know that density is just the mass divided by the volume, I can conclude that specific volume is just the inverse of the density. So that means it's just going to be the inverse of 626, which happens to be. 0 0.001596 keeps going. All right. So now that I have this, this is the thing that I was missing. To be able to do the the mixture all the way up there. Where were we? Here we were. Okay, so this is the thing I was missing. So what I'm gonna do here is Fifteen ninety six, and therefore the specific volume for the mixture becomes point two o twenty three. Remember what we talked about in the last video. It's 92% of this guy here. So the answer should be way closer to this guy here than to this guy here. And indeed it is, right? Indeed it is. Two orders of magnitude greater than this, way closer to this, yet still smaller. Hey, there you go. That's our answer for second one. All right, let's move on to part C. The ammonia thing got me by surprise. Do you realize we have to do two different tables? All right. <laughs> C, specific enthalpy, all right, so we're not needing to multiply by the mass, of Freon 12 at 2, or 491 kilopascals and 30 degrees Celsius. So Freon, Freon, that's going to be, oh, wait, 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 down there. Freon. Mercury, ammonia, refrigerant 12. Here you go. Refrigerant 12. All right, so this is Freon. Same thing as Freon. And here we are at, I forgot the 2, 491.4 kilopascals and 30 degrees Celsius. Okay. So let's, and then obviously this converted, this is the same thing as 4. 0.91 bar, right? We have it in bars, so that's what. So let's go ahead and look for 4.91 bar. Four, there you go. Right there. Okay? So that's the saturated pressure, and at the pressure, our temperature is 15. Remember that we were not sure whether this was a mixture, saturated vapor, saturated uh, liquid. Now we can be sure, right? Because we are 30. We are at 30 degrees Celsius. And because 30 is greater than 15, that means that we are at a superheated state. So this table here is no good for us. It doesn't really help us. We actually need a superheated one. So when we're dealing with Rogers tables, superheated is just right next to it, unless it's water that you have the ex exclusive ones. On uh, the other ones, it's generally a different table. Okay, and here's the trick on these, on these guys here. It gives you the temperature in respect to the difference. So you see this is a difference. It's a difference between Tsat and the temperature you're in. So in other words, for our case here, we have we are at 30 and the saturated temperature is 15. So we are 
superheated by 15 degrees Celsius or 15 degree, 15 Kelvin, right? It's the same thing. The difference is the same thing. So if that's the case, we are looking at this table here. That's what we're interested in, okay? That's what we're going to look for. And here I'm going to be looking at the, the, um, the properties that I'm after, obviously looking at the... Um, the, the pressure that I'm looking for. So my pressure is over here. Let me go ahead and zoom out so I can highlight the whole thing. All right, so I'm looking for properties on this line, this row. And what was it? Was it enthalpy? Yeah, it was enthalpy. So enthalpy is going to be here. And this is the value we're after. Okay, so the specific enthalpy for this guy here is 204.1 204.1 it wants specific so it wants per kilogram that is absolutely fine that's our answer right there alrighty so that does it for part c next up